light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. So someone asked me on how she could glam up an old full-length standing mirror. Now I didn't have one so I had to scout around thrift stores to find one. So I got one for $20. So I started by covering the inside with tape and prepping it for spray painting. Now if you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Because this is smooth, I'm going to sand it down lightly to make sure that the paint adheres better to the wood. And now I took it out and I spray painted it silver using the silver rustoleum spray paint with the metallic finish. And oh, I love the spray paint because it's all shiny now. So the next thing I did was to pick out this mirrors from the Dollar Tree. And I had two of them that I picked up and I'm going to be cutting out the decorative edges. After I was done with that, I took them out and I spray painted them silver. To attach these pieces to the mirror, I'm going to drill a tiny hole somewhere there so I can use small tack nails to attach it to the mirror. But before that, I'm going to use a hot glue gun and glue the pieces to the mirror first to make sure that they stay in place. For the other pieces, I'm just going to attach them with glue first to make sure that I like it before I attach the tack nails. I added one at the top here. And then in between, I'll be using this large crystal button that I got from Walmart. You have to order this online because they don't have it in stores. So I put that there and I put some by the sides. To glam it up more, I'll be using this pearl and crystal trim that I got from Hobby Lobby. And now to finish it up, I use the large crystal buttons and I just put few of them in between all of the trims. This is the next item that I'm going to be working on. I've had this for a while, so now I decided to work on it. And the first thing I did was to spray paint it silver and kept it aside and then took old Dollar Tree mirrors. I call them old because they stopped selling them. These are the larger Dollar Tree mirrors. I've had a lot of them at home so I'm going to be using two, detaching the mirrors from the frame and removing the screw cap from the furniture to make sure that it's flat before I glue on the mirrors there. I'll be making a simple design here by using tape to start at the corner here and then stopping at the middle and doing the same thing too starting at the other corner and ending at the middle to give me some kind of triangle. I'll be applying a reasonable amount of Mod Podge and it's the glossy Mod Podge to the area that I'll be working on. I'm using a generous amount and I'm just going to stop somewhere here and then pick up 
those crushed glass mirror pieces that I got from Michael's craft store. Now this is what it looks like. And I'm going to use my hands to sprinkle them on the Mod Podge. These pieces won't cut you so it's safe to do this, but then if you like you can definitely put on gloves while doing this. When it was dry this is what it looks like and you can still see some parts of the mirror showing which is really pretty but i'm going to be covering that up again with another layer now i put something at the back to hold out the pieces why i use a thin chalkboard that i got from the dollar tree to level it up After the second application, it's not dry yet, so I'm going to quickly remove the tape. I love the way it sparkles and shines. Not much came off from there, which is good. So now to seal it up, I'm going to use Mod Podge on top of it. Now this is going to help the pieces chain in place and to also reduce the roughness of the surface when touching it. When it was dry, I did the same thing to the other side. Now this is a Dollar Tree hand mirror that I detached the handle side from the main mirror. This is how I want the pieces to look. But I detached some and then they had this upper side coming off with it. So I'm going to snap those sides off and then use the pieces to decorate the front of the stand. In between the handles, we'll be covered up with this mirror mosaic tiles and I cut them to strips and the link for this tiles is going to be in the description box below. I'll be using more of those large Dollar Tree mirrors for the inside and the top. I forgot to mention earlier that I use gems in between the handles. Now the mirrors are overlapping, so because of that I'm going to cut them down to size using my mirror cutter. Now, because this particular type is no longer available, I have left a link for something similar to it in the description box below. I really love how this sparkles and shines. And it looks so cute besides the standing mirror. Because I love this so much and the pieces are chunky and really shiny, I'm going to use it on another furniture and see how it looks. Throughout this video, all I did was to update old furniture pieces. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed the transformation process. Now, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family so that they also would have one or two ideas that they can use to change old furniture pieces. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, I have other DIY videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.